This is my first radio TV show, and I am very blessed that I'm honoring you to be on the show to really give our uh, guests some great things tonight. So welcome to the Dr. Larry White Show. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, absolutely. And I got to say, uh, if you see me looking a little bit over here every now and again, Steph, you know, I want to say hello to author E.M. Jenkins, Shirlene Spivey. So hello, Facebook. We're here on Zoom. So come on in uh, and join us on Zoom if you can, Facebook. We, we really appreciate you all. So Steph, I'm excited that I'm going to meet you for the first time personally tomorrow at yes. our Congressional Black Caucus, our fourth annual. But let's just dive right into it and have a really good conversation tonight, Steph Wood. So tell us, I know a little bit about you, CEO and founder, mompreneur, to give management. And I, I got to say that if you thought about the name of your company to give back to the community in a way, but for those who may not know you, Steph Wood, tell us a little bit about who you are. How did you become the Steph Wood you are today? being an entrepreneur, having all these great things that you're offering. So who is Steph Wood? Well, yes, I am all the things that you mentioned. I am a mom first. Well, first I'm a believer. So I am a, a definite follower and a believer of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I give God all the glory for everything that's happened in my life. I am a mom of one daughter and I began my journey uh -huh. a little over 17 years ago as a Nike basketball skill academy coach and I was traveling the, the country and, and Canada teaching basketball and I just kind of happened upon learning how to do business management through that and entrepreneurship was always in my spirit once I learned the business side of it it was just sort of you know the sky was the limit after that you mentioned a couple things. You know, I'm a basketball advocate. You know, I love basketball. We have that in common. Deshaun, you're a PR person. You know, Mr. Everything, Deshaun. You know, being a believer, I believe that your business is your ministry. Uh, to me, that has to be the, the cornerstone of a person's business because if you're, if you're just kind of out there winging it, doing things that make you feel good, I don't think you're going to be successful. And uh, I, I like to look at a person's business being their ministry. And you kind of catapult that, you know, you know, right off the break saying you're a believer of Jesus Christ. And, and it's okay, everybody. Let people know that you're a business owner and that you love Jesus. The fact of the matter is, Steph, tell us what inspired you after having a great basketball career. You're a mom. What decided you to start a business? And then what? not only what made you start a business, what is your business all about? Yes, I started to give management after I took a spiritual gifts assessment many years ago. It's going to be five years in October. And I, I did that spiritual gifts assessment with my daughter after visiting her uncle, who was a minister in North Carolina. And I realized after taking that spiritual gifts assessment that my gifts were given to me by God, that I had been given the administrative gift, the management gift, the organizational gift the apostleship gift, the ministry gift. I had been given those gifts and I was using them in all my businesses and all my ventures, but I wasn't using them to glorify God. So I started to really take a hard look at myself and a hard look at my life and really use those spiritual gifts to build my company. And yeah, that's where it started. It'll be five years, but I've been in business development and management, like I said, for close to 20 years now. And it's always been about building other people up and, and doing for others. So building my company was something that I did by God, but it was also something I did for myself, which was a new idea. <laughs> so. That's really amazing. You know, um, I believe uh, leaders are born and the fact that you took a step of faith to start your own business. Uh, now you're like a speaker. You can come and host events, but you provide a lot of services. I kind of know quite a bit of those services, but for those startup business owners, much like Sharon Terry, what are some of the product and services that to give management, uh, you're the CEO and founder, uh, what are some of the product and services that you offer? Right. Well, we work with three main categories of people. We work with entrepreneurs, businesses, and nonprofits. And for each of those categories, we offer a myriad of Services that range from business development, nonprofit development, uh, developing your gift, uh, so a lot of discovery uh, pieces that will help you develop your mission, your vision statement, your value statement. We help entrepreneurs really 
develop the core of their organization or their business, uh, foundational pieces such as internal controls, operational management, marketing, financial revenues, re revenue streams. We teach you how to market to different clients, to different customers, but then we take you from development all the way to launch. So we take you from have an idea that I really want to work on, but I don't know how to do it. We take you from that all the way to uh, launch. Like we've got your website live. We have all your content written. We've written your story. We have developed your narrative. We have discussed your marketing schemes. We've got your products online. You are a full-fledged company. And then the other thing that's great about what we do is we tie everything else in to your businesses. And, and entrepreneurs, we're so gifted. And we've that Dr. Larry, you and I have talked about this before. We have things like we all do so many great things and we're so spirited. Our, our spirit is what keeps us pushing. We develop the business mind of the entrepreneur. So where an entrepreneur may lack in business, they have an overflow in spirit. They have an overflow in hustle. They have an overflow in that get up and get after it kind of attitude. So we help them to channel all those irons they have in the fire into working and thriving monetary monetary influence streams we we believe that each person has a gift multiple gifts and that they should live those gifts every day you know when you talk about product and services helping because you know i had to develop a mission statement for the dmv mastermind group core values things like that what is the identity of your organization i completely get that you know and so when sending the information to you to join us to help push your business as well because i believe in reciprocation but the fact of the matter is creating that funnel steph so you yes. can have some monetary you know we we all love our business but we got to make money we got to make money to keep the doors open you know what i mean so that, that's good that you, you're, you know, we're talking about like Sharon Terry, she's listening. She's a nonprofit CEO. So has Sharon Terry reached out to you yet? I know we've, we've talked on through Facebook a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'm sure very soon we'll be talking on the phone. And Absolutely. And because Sharon Terry has a nonprofit uh, called Maddie Smothers, uh, where she gives to the homeless backpack. She just did a wine and sip for the kids. And it's good that you, you're able to work with nonprofits, something I want to do one day. I, I give to nonprofits, but I don't have the, the infrastructure like you have with to give management uh, to work with nonprofits. I'm more on the for-profit side. So Steph, tell us what, you know, everybody is registering. Ticket sales are going through the roof. The Congressional Black Caucus tomorrow. You're driving yeah. up. You're driving yeah. up here to see us. Tell some of our listening viewers that are over here, over here, what can they expect from you tomorrow at uh, Congressional Black Caucus VIP reception? <laughs> well, they'll expect some good energy. I love people. I love to learn about people. So I look forward to listening to everyone there and really just getting to know everyone and what it is that really drives them. I want, I want to learn as much as I can about their why and why they love what they do and, and why they do it. I'll be sharing some, some tips off right up the gate i'll be doing some introduction and i'll be looking forward to all the speakers and everyone involved but i can uh, do a great wrap up and really i just want to get to know everyone up there it's a brand new network for me uh that area far to the eastern shore of virginia that's about as far up as i go with my clients right now but i look forward to hopefully you know making some new connections and learning about you guys absolutely i'm excited i'm just about done writing the program to see you all here shortly. Great. And you talked about, you know, opening up your network and, and networking with some new people. If you could speak to an entrepreneur right now, someone that is on the fence to start a nonprofit, start a for-profit, and they're just not sure, they're afraid of failing. Steph, what, what would you say to them saying, hey, you know, you can do this. What would be some encouraging words that you could give that entrepreneur sitting in the cu cubicle and they really don't think that they can actually make it. You know, what would you say to that person that's, you know, on the fence to start a business? Well, something I say a lot, and I believe this, that if God gives us the spirit of something, if God gives us an idea, even a thought of it, then he's already uh, created the provisions for that. Failure is, is a part of it. You know, you're going to fail. You're going to make some mistakes. You're going to screw it up. You know, this is my third company that I started. So it is a learning process. Failure is a part of your success, not mm -hmm. success. So don't be afraid to fail. Just kind of know it's coming because <laughs> you're going to make mistakes. I mean, you're trying something new. You're trying something that's 
um, for a lot of people, some of the ideas you have never been done before. I mean, of course, there's nothing new under the sun, but the way that you would do it is going to be different. So I would say that you already have the provisions inside of you. You already have everything that you need to be successful. The process, I would tell you that you need to endure it. I would say that you need to get ready for it, uh, that you need to understand that the failure will come, but the process, it's so great. I mean, I've got to tell you, like you, you got to start to love the downs just as much as you love the highs. And when you can find level emotions and dealing with your business and, and the things that you want to do, that's when you really succeed. So I would tell you that you need to do it. I would tell you that you have to do it not to, to waste another day, not to waste another minute. And then I finally, I would also say to just start writing things. Like you really need to write down your vision. You really need to write down what it is that you want to do. And you need to get a coach. You need to get someone that has been there. You need to get someone that gives you what you don't have. The great thing about to give management is we offer spiritual gifts assessments to all of our clients because we want to know what you do good at. We want to know what you're great at, what you're not great at. And it has to be a good fit for us. If you're already great at everything that we do, then all you need really is for me to help you coach through it. All you need from me is just really hold you accountable. But if you don't have the gifts of administration, of business management, of organization, if your brain's all over the place and you need someone to help you nail it down, then we're going to be a great fit. So finding a coach, um, that's important. I have a coach. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, one of my chapters in my book, which will be launched here in a couple of weeks, talks about having a mentor or a coach, someone that's going to hold you accountable keep you on track with things. That's very, very important, Steph, and I'm glad you, you brought that up. So give me the concept behind To Give Management. What, what made you choose that name? Well, I believe that, like I said earlier, we all have gifts and we have to give those back to the world. I've been raising my daughter by myself since she was five and it's been just the two of us. So that number is really important to me. And then finally, whether my client is a nonprofit, a for-profit, an individual, retired athlete, whatever the client is, each of our clients has a charitable initiative. And especially the for-profits are finding that the charitable initiative is a great way not only to give back to the community, but to stretch their arms out, create new networks, and use that as a market. So it's sort of a prerequisite. You have to, in order to work with us, you have to be willing to give back to your community. And then really just from the spirit of my heart, um, I want people to succeed. I want, especially disenfranchised people, we, um, we pride ourselves in working with entrepreneurs who are minorities, who are women, disenfranchised, marginalized, those who have been sort of cast out, those who have not been um, made to think that they can start their own business or run their own business. We look forward to bringing power to their ideas. And that's the reason why uh, we call it to give management. Well, look, I take my hat off to you because that's my whole connection with business owners. Everybody yeah. that you'll meet tomorrow, including yourself, are people that have been successful and still are successful in business, but they like to give back to the community. And important. that's what I'm passionate about. I think that's important because I think if you're really trying to make communities thrive, businesses thrive, you have to go back to the neighborhoods. You have to go back to the community and empower the community. Um, there is like a model, like um, you, you have any super Walmarts near where you live? Super yes, Walmart? Yes, of course, they're everywhere. <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. And to my point is that they have this model to choke out the small businesses. They put yes. like a super Walmart in a 10 mile radius of each other. And if you look at a super Walmart here, there's one up the block from where I live. And then there's another one 10 miles away and there's another one 10 miles. And what it is, is it, it chokes the life out of small business owners like you and I, like I have three small children. So if I need a gallon of milk, it might be a little bit more at the uh, mom and pop store, but Walmart does it in a bulk. And this is no knock on uh, Walmart. I think they're a great establishment, but when you start putting them in certain places, why not one in a 30 mile radius instead of five? in a 20 mile radius. But I say that because it's up to you and I, uh, Steph Wood, the D, D. Bowdens who's listening in and Facebook folks, when we empower each other with events. So for example, this event tomorrow will empower people. People will be able to get their business off the ground. They will be able to get more clientele, jobs, 
to help with the economic development of that community. And so I can really appreciate what we're doing, what D is doing. We're trying to not only help make money for ourselves, but we're trying to save other people money. And we're also trying to create jobs and increase the economic development within the community. So Steph, I'm really excited that you're coming to caucus tomorrow. Dia be there and uh, some folks over here. Brenda wrote us a check. Thank you so much over here. Facebook Live, Brenda, Miss Chi. So listen, we have a few moments left, but what is the website? If people want to contact you, what is your website and contact information for you, Steph Wood, and to give management? Yeah, thank you. Um, just to kind of piggyback on what you said a minute ago before I give you the contact information, you know, you've got to decide what kind of small business you want to be. And the great thing about being a small business is that helps you to close the wealth gap that is out here, especially with minorities, minority groups, women groups, Hispanics, African-American males, African-American women, African-American women are on the ride and building their own companies. While you're working and, and you've got your earned income, it's really important that you are establishing something on your own, something that you're using your gifts to generate income, to monetize every talent that you have. And that's where you really close in that wealth gap for yourself personally. Uh, so I want to encourage you to do that. However small or large your small business will be, it's really important that you do that to secure your financial future and to really start leaving a legacy for your children. But you can reach me at togivemanagement.com. That's the number two, givemanagement.com. You can go on there and hit shop and you can sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. Uh, we can do that in person or we can do it on the phone. And you can also get a, a one hour with us where we'll provide recommendations to you for $50. Uh, but we do offer payment plans. You know, what we do can be expensive, but we offer payment plans. We offer coaching. We offer, you know, if you're an entrepreneur that just knows how to do these things and you just need someone to hold you accountable, we do that as well. And we have several clients that are going through that now and are going to be launching soon. So we're really, really proud. Of, of each and every client that we work with. Click on our clients page and just see some of the brands that we've built. One of the things that we're really great, great at, Deshaun and I are really great at um, telling your story, really getting your narrative in, and we have a sy systematic process by which to do that. So I hope that you'll reach out and let me help you to, to live your gift every day. Listen, we listed the website up here, www.togivemanagement.com. Yes. Steph Wood is in the building over here on Zoom. We got Facebook over here. You know, before we uh, let you go, Steph, I want to wish you uh, traveling and bless mercies traveling up here to the D.C. area tomorrow as we have our fourth annual Congressional Black Caucus. D. Bowden is one of our uh, small business sponsors. She'll also do a business spotlight. Um, you can, Folks can still register. You can actually meet Steph Wood in person tomorrow at Chef Jeff's Restaurant, free parking, I have to stress free parking in our nation's capital because I know that's right. <laughs> that is very limited. That's why we're up there because it's free parking. It's business casual, uh, complimentary hors d'oeuvres until they run out. Red carpet. Shout out to Dr. Essie McCoy, B. Bowden, author Kimberly McLemore, the Honorable Carl Snowden, Dr. Tashika Green, our honorees, our VIP guests, just Dr. Marcy Ross, author Christy Rutherford author Duvalier Malone and Mr. Darius A. Stan. I mean, just a packed lineup. Uh, you got to help me uh, control the evening, Steph, you know, with the welcome and the closing remarks. And um, shout out to Dr. Uh, Leona Brown, uh, some amazing people. I was at four events yesterday, four events. And uh, I had a minor fender bender where my car was spinning out of control. I'm, I'm blessed to be alive today in all that rain. Um, but uh, I was able to make it to four events and, and really, you know, warmed my heart to support small business owners, Dr. Vilika Moore and Paula Duright Jones and James and Cynthia Green and Miss Chi, all of you. I drove about a hundred miles yesterday to support small business owners because they support me like Dee and all of you over here. So outside of Congressional Black Caucus, do you have any upcoming events, any speaking engagements that people can find you at? Great question. I do have something coming up in October, but I don't have it finalized yet, so I'd hate to speak on that. Um, I am on Facebook Live just about every morning between 9.30 and about 10.30 is usually when I come on. I do a daily devotional, and, and this week uh, into later on this month, we're going over the best um, 100 Bible quotes that 
every leader should know. So they're really, really important for that, um, for your growth, you know, to make sure you stay grounded in Christ and everything that you have going on. So I've got that. Um, and really, I would just say, if you are, if you're experiencing a confusing state, if you're experiencing confusion about your business, about your life, if you're sort of in a peril, if you're in adversity, that tells you that something great is, com is coming. It's, it's around the corner. You're experiencing something negative because it's going to have a positive and practical application to your life moving forward. And I would just tell you to keep pushing, you know, get up every day, establish really good habits and become, become a slave to your schedule. That's one thing that we as entrepreneurs forget that sometimes it's not our money. That's the most valuable thing in our life. It's our schedule. So absolutely write, write things down, you know, use Google calendar, make sure you're putting appointments in that you are you're scheduling time for your personal growth your spiritual growth and make sure you're working on your business that you're not just selling product and and selling services but that you're taking those 10 to 20 hours 10 to 15 hours a week working on your your company there are things that your company needs to grow grow in and and you need that time so your calendar is important well, Steph Wood, I want to thank you for being the very first guest on the Dr. Larry White Senior Show. Oh, thank you so much for all that you do. You're terrific. You're just oh, such we just help each other. We're, we're one big community helping each other. <laughs> but you are a blessing. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted you to be the first is that you have um, those initiatives and concepts in place. You're a seasoned veteran. You've had some ups. You've had, you've had some downs. And we all need to have them. I've, I know I've had mine. Um, you talked about being uh, having a business coach, you know, uh, someone to guide you along. You can go find Steph Wood at www.togivemanagement.com. She will be happy to bring you on board uh, as a business client and work with you all. You heard it here first. Uh, I do the same thing. She has a payment plan. She, she'll work with you, you know. So make sure when you get the payment plan, you're paying on time, okay? Um, we look forward to uh, seeing everybody, Steph and I, uh, at the 4th Annual Congressional Black Caucus tomorrow in our nation's capital, Chef Jeff's Restaurant. Be there, Facebook. Still time to register. The link dies tomorrow at 12 noon. So register right now. General admission is $25. VIP is $40. It includes a swag bag and pictures with Steph. You know, we've got some... <laughs> millennials that are going to be in the building taking some pictures tomorrow you get pictures with devoted and all of our speakers and honored guests so i just want to thank you so much uh blessing the dr larry white senior show and we're gonna to have to get you back on here again we really really appreciate you and i just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and i'll see you tomorrow sounds great good night everyone take care and god bless god bless hey this show is in the books everybody the dr larry white senior show live with steph wood Man, this was an amazing 30 minutes. I tell you, you know, we even wrapped up with three minutes to spare. So you want to talk about to give management, VIP Vince Concierge, setting the tone for LIP, leadership, <laughs> integrity, and passion. Remember, yes. there is some pain in your positioning to get you to your purpose. This is Dr. Larry White Sr. with my special VIP guest, Steph Wood, and we are out. Yours.